Hi, this is Jalita Parrot interviewing a very special person, Jarrell. Um, this is a podcast video interview questions. Hello. Okay. Well, first off, everybody wants to know, what is your name? My name is Jarrell Parrot. Mm-hmm. What high school do you go to? Originally, I like I'm professional science. Okay. Why are you excited to be a T3 girl? understand more about technology and build up in the field and, you know, make a career out of it one day. Okay. Well, if you go to college, where would you like to go? Elif. Yeah, what would you be your major? Probably a mixed engineer or a family or marriage counselor. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, so what career field do you hope to pursue? Mixed engineer because it really involves a lot of music and things like such. So that would be fun. <laughs> How would you use that technology in that field? Um, I'll be in the background, behind the scenes, where you see the music being finalized. So that involves a lot of technology. Okay. Um, what was your favorite activity this week? Podcast. Podcast. Yeah, both. I like all the kind of podcasts. Yeah. Creativity. Okay. That's very interesting. Um, what was your first technology gadget? And how old were you? A computer. I was probably like seven. Okay. Um, what are your favorite things to do online? Um, Facebook. Okay, me too, me too, <laughs> a lot of work. Um, what is your favorite technology tool, electric I, device? My you use the most. You use that a lot? Yes, yeah. I'm stuck, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. That's your life? Not okay. Really. <laughs> what do you hope to get out of the I Try It program? What's the best thing about being a teenage girl? Fun. Free. Jolly. <laughs> okay. Okay, what are some major challenges for teenage for teenage girls today? Clear pressure being misguided most of the time and they feel that they're wrong and they can do what they want. So not really. Right. Always okay. safe, pay the bills or not. Okay. Exactly. Who has influenced you the most to use technology and how? Um, my mother. She would give me a computer a lot. She pretty much got me wanting to get a Facebook. So. And Miss Taylor Stewart is here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, she got me to realize because first I was kind of iffy about joining Try It. So, yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, I think you were pregnant. That take the Z head. No. Okay. Um, if you were going to, excuse me, if you were going to invent a video game for teenage girls, what would it look like? Ooh, it'd be colorful. Have lots of fashion, songs, just pretty much everything that teenage girls like, but there'll be a moral behind it. Well, what can I ask you? What more? Just a life thing. lessons you need to know. Exercise the mind, the type of things like that. Okay, that's interesting. We need some games like that. Yes, we need to explain. Teachers are the best. Teaching the fish, okay. <laughs> um, if you could spend a day doing whatever you choose, where would you go and what would you do? Probably I would go swimming. With my family and friends. <laughs> I like this one. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's very good. The whole day? Eat. 
Oh, okay. Go to the music. Spin it. Come on. Oh, okay. You give me a little something. Yeah, give me a little something. If it was really my choice, Let's I would make my life a musical. <laughs> <laughs> a musical. That was cool. Very. Yeah. Very, very yeah. good. Oh, the pot. Yeah, the pot. It would be like Jarrell's musical. Jarrell. Okay. Yeah, have <laughs> Do the theme. Yeah, I have the theme music. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. If. You were teaching a class. So teenage girls, how would you make it math, science, technology more exciting? Um, I would ask them what are you interested in and whatever they're interested in, the likes and dislikes, I would apply it to what they would be learning so it would make it easier for them to enjoy. Oh, I would love to do your class. <laughs> okay, yeah, more teachers need to be like that. Yeah, instead of making us take notes. Just that, okay. Boring. Don't make notes. No. Um, if you, I mean, do you see a lack of women in the technology field? And if so, do I, or do you, why do you think that? Well, um, yes, I do. You know, I think they're probably sometimes intimidated not to really get in, involved. Or they just don't want to educate themselves about technology. They find it might be boring. You know, like I did a couple months ago. Oh. And uh, is it boring? No. No? Absolutely. No? You learn more and it's more interesting. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Um, do you see gender issues and discrimination in technology career fields? Where and how? Yes and no. But... Uh, like, you really can't say that because, you know, it's out there for women to go to, but they don't take the opportunity to do it. Yeah. And, but, you know, most of the times you would see a male working for JA or a female, I mean, um, for um, electronics, Comcast. Mm -hmm. They're all males. I never seen a woman walk in the door like, hey, you need to fix your computer. No. Me either. Wow. So, that's smart. I never thought of that. Yeah. Comcast. A lot of or male A technicians. And stuff mm -hmm. like that. Right. Well. So, <coughs> brings me to my next question. Do you think um, there are limitations placed on women in technology that should be broken down? And if so, how can we make that happen? Yes. Um, it's limitations because no one wants to do it. No one wants to get involved. No one wants to actually take the chance. Mm -hmm. So in order to break that down we have to show all these powerful, influential women that are involved in technology. And if they see that they're like, hmm, I can do it too. All right. That's true. <clears throat> Let's bring me on to my next question. Do you think there's oh excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, do you know of any wonderful talent of women in technology? What are their jobs? Here and here, but here where? Here, try it. Okay. <laughs> and then, but, yeah. But other outside of this classroom, no. Okay. okay, so that means you don't see many. No. Okay. Do you feel that women are just as honored for success in this industry as well as anyone else? Yes. If not, equal to, they can do it even better, because women are the world, sorry, sorry man. <laughs> okay, let's see, um, do you feel that women, oh I'm sorry, do you, do, do male dominant, sorry, let me repeat the question, do you, do male dominant offices intimidate or discourage women from getting involved, how so? Well, you know, because it's like you don't see anyone you relate to, so it's kind of like, okay, I'm the only one, so I have to step it up even more, so that's kind of, you know, hard to swallow, but that's the only thing I think of. Do you? Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, do you think that women are discriminated against, underpaid, held back for promotions? Or not hire when a comparable man is available for the job. 
or is that not true? Please in give me an example. No. In some cases, yes. Like NBA and the WNBA. Like, there's pretty much. Yeah. Well, can you expand that? Like, um, do you think that NBA and WNBA, there's the pace is different, but they both do, do the, the same? same job, yes. That's true. Exactly. Yeah. I guess. That's a good example. Wow. Very bright. Very bright. Um, how would you encourage a, a female friend who is intimidated to pursue a career field that she perceives as a male dominated? I would tell her, go for it. I never let anyone determine your destiny. <coughs> just go for it. If you try it, if you like it, keep continuing. If you don't, just let it go. Just don't let no one stop you. No one can stop you. No one. Just keep going. You'll reach the goal. Right. <laughs> All right. That's very powerful and inspirational and encouraging. So thank you, Jarrell Perry, for the interview. Yeah. <laughs>